Okay, we move on to step two in the process. And step two is we look at this thing called goodwill. So goodwill is sort of the value of the brand or reputation of a business. So maybe it's got repeat customers, um, and this makes a business valuable. Now, goodwill is great to have, but it's not really a real asset. It's just something that sort of sits there. And sometimes you can have goodwill when you start a business, but if you don't look after your customers, well, then um, your goodwill can disappear. And your customers are not repeat customers, and you don't have a good brand name. So, uh, yeah, so goodwill is what is built up by the owners due to its good name, good repeat customer base, good reputation. So goodwill is the extra value that an owner has added to the business over time. Now, we can calculate it. So the calculation is actually down the bottom there. Goodwill is equal to the total purchase price less the total value of the assets. So total asking price, what they're asking for the business, minus the actual value of the assets you're getting. And the difference is the goodwill, basically the value of the brand or the reputation. Now, so there's two elements here. Uh, the total purchase price. So this is made up of two parts. Um, so you've got the asking price. That might be $200,000, I don't know. And then we also need to add on any stock valuation if it says so. So it might say $200,000 plus stock. So we need to add that on because you have to pay it. Because that is part of the total purchase price of this business. So that's one side. That's how much money you have to pay out if you want to buy this business. On the second side, you've got, well, you do get some assets in return for that purchase price. And so we've got our total assets. So this will be the value of all the assets that you're going to get because you buy this business. And this again will include stock. So it might be stock, furniture, equipment, all those fit out, all those things like that, they're all the assets you get to keep. So the difference between the two is goodwill, the extra paid out for, for this business. So we take the total purchase price minus the total asset value, and this will calculate the goodwill value. Okay, so goodwill, very important for businesses, and it's only created when a business is purchased. You just can't create it. Think, oh, I've got a good brand name. I'm just going to make a million dollars. It's only created when your asset, when your business is actually being purchased by somebody. So, and that's how we calculate it using those uh, those formulas there.